Uh, coach, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations on the 2 1 win. What are your thoughts on the game? Uh, this is this, this being our third game, and then of course we had a, a two week break where we didn't have football. So the boys coming back in the first half, we looked uh, to play conservative in the first half and uh, protect the ball through the middle because we know School of Excellence, when they pass in the ball, they can pass the ball through you. And uh, when, we, when we did win the ball, we looked to, to play with our, with our width. So we moved into a nice 4-3-3 position shape where we were able to attack with, with width. But uh, the boys did well in terms of their, their transitions. I mean, for players that are under 13 to understand the movement, they, they remained compact, they shifted, they pressed. If you look at uh, the game, School of Excellence didn't actually make passes through our, our middle. Uh, coach, like you said, this being your third game, uh, I know you had uh, trials earlier to, to recruit some of these boys. Are you happy with the squad that you've put together? I think, I think we were lucky with the squad that we've put together because uh, from the onset we had a very good under-12 team and at WITS we say uh, players must be technically proficient at under-12. So we coach from under-6 to under-12 but unfortunately this year we've lost our under-12 team and those players went away which opened the, the space for us to have trials and the players that came I think were just, just enough but even at trials we were coaching they normally they say don't coach at trials but these are the players that we had and uh, that's why I think we were lucky with what we got because we are happy with the squad that we have we have uh, three more players to come into the squad but uh, you know with uh, with SAFA you must have passports so these guys are still applying for passports we have we have we have uh, players who are orphans and now they to, to get the passport is a bit difficult mm. and uh, these are the, the problems the challenges that we that we encounter just that uh, the ones with orphans they, they're living with their grandmothers and to get their passports is a challenge uh, coach we know at this level it's all about development but you you also want to win and so to create a winning mentality how do you balance the two well we we had subs on in the second half we actually gave five minutes for the team most of the development is done in training so with that today we had a chance we were one up so we made some good changes in the second half and they came on with information so the second half team although they were so what uh, we not that we didn't have the most confidence in them to come in the second half. We had to give them the chance to play, allow them to play, allow them to make their mistakes and learn from their mistakes. But uh, to my surprise, when they came on, they actually did a, a lot better than what we thought they would do. So, in development, it's important for coaches to take the chances on players. Let them play. Let them get the experience. Let allow them to make the mistakes and let them learn from their mistakes. So the next time they come back to the field, they are a lot better. Coach, thank you very much for your time and all the best in your upcoming games. Thank you very much.